In our industry right now, many people are thinking about transitioning their book of business to the next generation or to an outside financial planner. How do you drive value to your business and maximize it is today's topic on high performing practice. One of the easiest ways to bring value to your business is to increase your revenue. Traditionally, we think about increasing our revenue through more assets under management so that we bring on more clients, we grow our block of business, therefore our recurring revenue is substantially higher and then we can apply a multiple to that. But there are other ways that I want you to think about growing your business that it takes a little bit of planning. First of all, is doing a lot of cross-selling. Having different streams of income within your existing client base can really add stability to your recurring revenue. Whether that's trail revenue on asset-based type of products, whether that is life insurance, annuities, all kinds of different things that can actually cross-sell and add value to your business. The second thing is, is that you always have to remember that for the most of us, the brand is us and that if we sell our business, many of our clients feel that they have been abandoned. And so you have to make sure that you have a suitable transition from your ownership to the next ownership. Maybe you wanna be on a consulting agreement for two to three years. Maybe you wanna have some level of interaction with your top clients for an extended period of time, but that has to be thought out in your buy-sell agreement as you begin transitioning. However, one thing that you always need to think about is where is your practice going to be in the next five to 10 years? We're moving from the greatest shift from the workforce to retirement, and for most Americans, they are relying on all of the accumulation that they've had over the last 30 to 40 years that they have worked. And the decumulation, that affects our assets under management. And so when a potential buyer is per projecting the value of their recurring revenue, they're going to see a steady decumulation. What I would encourage you to do is to take the challenge of looking at income alpha, looking at how guaranteed income might be able to help you sustain your book of business and actually increase the value of your recurring revenue by as much as 23 to 36%. So I encourage you to reach out and learn more about Income Alpha and the strategy to help value your business at a much higher value over the next five to 10 years during a transition period. That alone will take your business to the next level.